Welcome to Ukenic. Here we're troubleshooting an engine problem on a Mitsubishi Outlander. This is a 2019 model year. So what's happening with this car is that when you start the engine, the RPMs fluctuate a lot, up and down, even at idle. Uh, you also notice this like really poor throw response. Uh, vehicle won't shift gears. A couple other issues is that also the traction control and the active stability control lights are on. But even though this is an issue with the engine, there's not a problem with those two systems, at least in this car. So uh, keep that in mind too, that uh, engine problem sometimes in these cars, Mitsubishi triggers a number of other lights. They're not really directly related to the actual problem. Um, let's take a look, start this, see what it's doing. You also notice that the car is shaking a lot. The engine is shaking significantly. We're gonna take a look at the fault codes and then we're gonna look at the part that's um, the issue and how you what you need to replace it So you can see how uh, the engine is acting. Let's take a look uh, really quick at the codes. And then to read the codes, you need a OBD2 adapter to plug in under the dashboard here uh, in the diagnostic port. And then you uh, run your app. You come here and we could see that we have a problem with the throttle pa pedal position sensor. Circuit high and the P0123. And then we have P0222. And then throttle position sensor, this is uh, circuit B. And then uh, you can see a, a number of other codes in here. Uh, you see we have P1590, P2100. So those are the, the codes. They are displayed more than one because some of them are stores and some of them are permanent, they're pending and confirm code. So these are the two confirm codes. Let's take a look at what's wrong. So here we have opened the hood and we're gonna take a look at throttle position sensor. It's mounted right here. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so the throttle position sensor is what's wrong with this vehicle. Uh, the sensor is right here and it's what controls the air that goes into the engine. So in this case, it's an electrical issue and uh, depending what what the exact problem is uh, this can trigger a number of fault codes not only the two that we have it just depends how it fails to replace it it's pretty easy uh, you'll need to remove this part right here this is a hose it's got clamp down at the bottom and then you will disconnect this hose over here and then once you take that off then you have one two three four bolts and you can take that off the whole thing um, apart and remove it and install a new one. One thing to keep in mind when you install a new throttle body is that you might need to uh, do um, throttle uh, programming and relearn. So keep that in mind, you'll need a scanner that is able to carry out that procedure. That's it, thanks for watching.